Good morning everyone, hello, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Emma, it's nice to meet you. I'm 21 years old, just graduated college, and I am currently in Thailand. I'm in quarantine right now, but I will be teaching English in Central Thailand for the next six months. I just made like lifestyle, travel, college videos over the past couple of years, and now I'm getting into post-grad life and well, my first real big girl job kind of which is exciting so yeah um i kind of shared like the details of why i'm here what i'm doing everything like that in my last vlog so if you guys missed that i'll link it down below right now i'm in quarantine i have about six days left so i'm almost two-thirds of the way through which is so exciting the first few days were super super difficult just with jet lag loss of appetite just being completely out of my comfort zone but I've gotten used to it. I feel like myself again, like kind of have a little routine. So it's going well. I actually don't mind it anymore. I was just calling my mom and my dad earlier and I was like, it's kind of just like living on your own, except obviously like you can't do what you want all the time. But I teach kindergartners and then elementary. So the age range is like from three to eight, I'm pretty sure. Um, so it should be super, super fun. I'm in the process of lesson planning putting my quarantine time to good use and I start teaching a week from today actually which is <laughs> crazy so yeah I guess I should say today is Monday November 16th back home in the States it's Sunday night which is crazy um, there were a lot of questions about time difference so I live in Ohio um, so it's Eastern Standard Time and then in Thailand it's exactly 12 hours ahead of the state So it's kind of easy to remember if it's 2 p.m. Here. It's 2 a.m. There But it's just super weird because like I live my whole day while they're sleeping and then they live their day while I'm sleeping So it's taken an adjustment, but it's also kind of nice because you're not relying on your home support system like you have to be independent to figure things out to make friends with other people and just kind of do your own thing which has been nice so yeah that's the quick little rundown my breakfast just arrived and you guys i am always so hungry in the morning they usually drop it off at like 8:30. And I usually wake up around like 7 and just kind of like lay on my phone or talk to people for the first little bit because I'm just like always so hungry in the morning, which actually I'm not as hungry today, but I ate kind of a lot yesterday. So I'm going to show you guys. Um, you order it the day before. So today I ordered French toast. I think this is maybe the fourth day in a row I've ordered it though. It's so delicious and it just like kind of tastes like home. Like look how good. I am going to eat breakfast. Like, just look at this. Oh, so good. Um, I'm gonna eat breakfast and watch The Queen's Gambit. You guys, this show is so amazing. I love her character. I just, all of the acting is just phenomenal. The storyline, like, it's just, I don't know. It's just, like, really intriguing, and I just love it. So, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I only have one episode left, actually, which is kind of sad. I hate when I finish a show, but... I'm probably going to end up watching maybe only 30 minutes because I have some stuff to get done today. I desperately need to do laundry, so I'm going to figure out how to wash my clothes in the bathtub. And then just kind of like, I always tidy up and sweep my room in the mornings. Um, I have lots of lesson planning to get done. Um, I want to go out on the rooftop balcony just to read, get some sun, just be around people. Um, I've talked to a couple people up there, which is just, it's just nice to have like a real human interaction after so long. Um, what else? I mean, I'm going to get some exercise again today. I usually go out and walk and then do like some arms and abs. And then I also want to look into some stocks, which I know is weird. I just watched Elena Taber, I think it's, I don't remember how you say her last name, but she's awesome, she's the New York City gal. And I just watched one of her videos about investing in your 20s. Um, and it's just like, I don't know, like my dad and I have been figuring out and like talking stocks a lot while I've been gone. He's trying to find the next best buy. And before I left, we invested in GE because it took a huge hit during the pandemic, of course, as most companies did. So it's slowly starting to rise and we've already made a decent amount of money. It's only been like two weeks, which obviously stock market's like irrational. <laughs> like you don't, you never know what's going to happen, but it's just fun to like research that, learn more about that. 
um and i think investing is awesome as soon as i got back from ukraine last summer teaching english i was like hey dad help me like, i want to open a roth ira start investing in my future and it just it is weird because like i like i checked it the other day and i was like oh my god i didn't know i had this much in here but then like you can't touch it like i won't be able to touch it till i'm like 60 or 70 or something but it's just it's kind of fun and i don't know i just so yeah might do some research into that so it's about 11 o'clock um right after i filmed that last clip my friend actually ended up facetiming me we talked for about an hour and a half it was really really nice um we didn't talk to each other yesterday so it's just funny like after like a day how much you have to like get caught up on it i'm gonna head up to the rooftop get some sun i kind of got burnt two days ago so I took a break from the sun yesterday, but I am desperate for some vitamin D and just like sit out and read, even though I'm gonna sweat like crazy, but it'll be nice. So, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. I was trying, Thailand's a very conservative country, so most people don't wear tank tops and they don't wear shorts. I'm wearing both. I feel bad, but like the men are up there with like their shirts off, and I'm like, well, I can't do that, but I want a tan, so frick you guys and everyone knows that i'm like american so it's okay anyways i have this tank so i can like you know pull it down get some sun and then none of my sports shorts went with it so i didn't cover my belly button so i have these they're from target super wrinkly but like so comfy and that way i can like pull them up get some sun on my legs I'm gonna keep working on my tiba tan can i see that it's getting pretty good so yeah i'm gonna pack up my bag I always bring my backpack just so I can keep my room key in here. I have my mask. I'm um, going to wear some sunnies. And then I've got my Kindle. I'm reading The Hands May Tale. It's really interesting. I feel like they're still like kind of setting the stage, but I'm already like 20% through the book. So I'm kind of confused as to like where it's going because I never watched the show. But yeah, it's a good read. Um, I've got this in case I want to just close my eyes, listen to some music. Um, I also just made a little drink. They give us water, obviously, but then I brought all of these Just Add Water packets from home. So I did a raspberry lemonade today. So I will be drinking that. I just got back from the rooftop. It was so nice out there. It was crowded up there when I first got there. A lot of people leave around like 11.30 or 12 to go eat lunch, which my lunch came like before I left. And I was like, oh, now it's gonna be cold for when I get back, but whatever, you can only do so much. But yeah, my friend, the one guy that I've talked to was there again. So he chatted with me for uh, probably only like 15 minutes tomorrow's his last day though just so exciting um so yeah i talked to him for a little bit read my book listened to some lana del rey and took some instagram pics because i haven't posted at all and i was like i really just like want to post just for like fun and also just to like have something to do and document all this so yes i am probably going to rinse off because I'm like literally like wet. It's gross, but I'm gonna eat first and like watch a random YouTube video or something. And then I'm gonna do laundry because I'm gonna wash these clothes. Like these were like, like they feel like wet, soaked from my sweat. So I feel like that's probably the best thing to do. Mmm, so we've got some pasta, some garlic bread. I'm gonna have more water because I downed my water because it's just like it's just so hot that you're just incredibly thirsty and then i also need to order food for tomorrow they keep reminding me they're like please order food please order food then they send me an emoji and i'm like homie you said by 3 p.m like give me some time so i'm gonna do that the guy recommended fish and tip fish and chips which i don't really like fish at all but tonight i literally ordered bacon sausage 
because it came with french fries. So I'm just gonna eat french fries in one of my salads. Um, so I was like, well, fish and chips, that comes with fries. Oh, okay. So I might order that for lunch tomorrow and then stick with pasta. I'm just sticking with familiar foods because my stomach's used to it and I can eat it all. So yeah, okay, I'm so hungry in my stomach. Whew. All right, it is time to get some lesson planning done. It's 2.20. Um, I usually, I think I'm gonna go outside and walk around 5 tonight, so I have a good amount of time to get some stuff done. The past couple days, I planned lessons for only one class, and I have five classes, so I'm hoping that I can get them all done throughout this next week, which I think that I will be able to. It's just, it's a lot of information, finding the right books, making sure the lessons line up, hoping that they're gonna be long enough for the class period. I didn't realize how much it would be and I'm a little bit over my head. I'm teaching science. Um, I'm not very sciencey. We didn't really do a lot of science growing up. And then I'm also teaching social, which is just like careers, where people live, neighborhoods, like kind of stuff like that. And then health education, which is kind of just like taking care of your body and yourself, safety, stuff like that. So. It's just, it's a lot of information, but I've slowly started to piece things together. So hopefully these next few lessons will go by a little bit quicker. I also have a new fruit. This is the first one or first time. They, so I don't know what this is. That's what it was. Oh, oh my goodness. So it's 5.20. I was working on that way longer than I intended. They give me like, um, like they have all the lesson plans that like previous teachers have done or like that one previous teacher has done. And this girl, I didn't even know what she was trying to say, what she was trying to do. I was so confused. Um, so I was like having to look at like the teacher manual and then what I was supposed to do when and it was just, oh my gosh, it was crazy. But I did figure out science <laughs> and up until winter break, which is like four weeks I think, so that's good but um, I still have one more chapter that I want to try and get done. I wanna get my like stress out and my back's just hurting, so I'm gonna head out for a walk, um, which I like to be back earlier. That way I catch the sunset. The sunsets are just like getting prettier and prettier. I can barely even get out here with all my crap, but good news is it's so hot that they dried pretty too fast. I'm trying to see if my friends are down here. Um, yes, this couple, they walk all the time with me. They always cut me off though, but it looks like they're the only ones down there. So, here's a beautiful view of Bangkok. The sun's already going way down. I'm gonna try and <laughs> slip through. So I'm gonna go walk. I've been walking for about 40 minutes. So I'll probably see if the sky start changing down there. Cause usually I'm down there at like 4.30 or 5. Oh, it's 5.12. So I'm not that much later. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go walk and then I'll come back and probably do some arm and ab stuff because that's what I usually do. And then dinner will be here, so then I'm gonna eat my french fries. I am back from my walk. Um, I'm going to do a couple Mad Fit videos She's my favorite, you guys, or some people have been asking what I've been doing for fitness and what my favorite things are, and I feel like I talk about her in literally every single video, but she is just the best. She is intense. She explains it well. Like, they're quick workouts for the most part. I usually do like 12, 15 minutes. Um, she has them like 20 and 30 minutes too, but I like to do multiple videos. That way it's like you just gotta make it through the video and then we do the next one, so. Um, yeah, she's awesome. Highly, highly recommend. And she has song and dance videos, which are like literally my favorite. Um, so this is a 12 minute music workout. So the music's like, it's choreographed to the music, which I love as a former dancer. So that's gonna be like, I, I kind of browse through. It's a lot of like stretching, which is good. I need that. And then I'm going to do, this is my favorite um, arm and ab workout combined. So that's 15 minutes. So. I think I'm gonna do the dance one first and then the arm and ab one. My dinner came. 
you guys. I got more of this fruit, which was actually surprisingly really good. I liked it. The seeds are kind of weird, but like it's delish. And then here's my fries. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you how excited I am to eat those. I've been craving fries for like a week. Bummer is that there was not that great of a sunset tonight. There's a little bit of color, but not much. Um, like not compared to last night's. Last night's was beautiful. So here's dinner. I've got my salad, my french fries. This, it looks like, is sausage wrapped in bacon, but I feel like that is not like cooked well enough, so... I don't think I'm gonna eat that, but I'm just gonna eat and watch the last episode. Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday. Thought that I would just vlog today. Oh my, so bright. I somehow ended up sleeping in until almost nine. I don't think I've ever slept in um, this much. It's usually, I think the, <laughs> the latest was like maybe seven. So, I missed the milk for breakfast. I don't know if they came to take my temperature yet. Um, they'll probably just like come back. They kind of like hunt you down until you get it taken. But I feel like so disoriented. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I was like, oh, I'll be up early. I'll get so much done today. And now here we are. Looks like it's gonna be another sunny, sunny day. Clothes are hopefully dry by now. I brought some things in last night but I feel like there's like a residue on them. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to like rinse them off again. Ugh, I don't know you guys, so I might have to like ask my mom, but I am going to enjoy my coffee, enjoy my French toast, and like wake up a little bit, and then we'll see what's on the agenda. So it's almost 11 o'clock. I have been lesson planning for the past hour or so. Oh my goodness, I am sorry, I'm trying to fix this lighting. <laughs> There's just so much light that comes in through this window, so it's hard to adjust the lighting. Anyways, I completed the science lesson plans for P2, so progress, and I'm gonna start working on their social health science plans and then I'll have that grade done and then I'll only have three more. I was looking at stocks today. Um, my dad was showing me a couple and we're trying to figure out what our next investment is gonna be. Um, we're thinking maybe American Airlines. So we'll see, it's kind of just fun. I don't know, it's weird and it's like, I have money sitting in my account, like too much money sitting in my account. Um, and I was, I'm like, well, might as well like invest it in something, but then there's also a rule that if you're going to be using it within, I believe it's the next five years, like if you're going to need that money in the next five years, then you should not invest it. So I know that I'll be using it like in the summer when I'm, I'm not working and I, I think what I'm going to do, this is something my friend and I were talking about yesterday, like we're going to go on like a little trip and just see what cities we might want to move to um because i'm trying to convince her to come with me <laughs> so yeah i think that would be super fun we're thinking like maybe like outside of jacksonville florida because that's still like close enough it's near the beach it's not like super southern florida um we're also thinking maybe like texas she mentioned it and i had kind of been thinking about it which i never ever ever thought that like texas might be like a possibility but we were looking into some of the cities and they just seem super cool and you're by the coast and you're by you know you've got new mexico and utah right there so we're just like researching some cities and trying to like just see if there's any fun places that we can move to because i was gonna like start applying to like real were real jobs while I was over here um, so that I had one like marked down for the fall when I got back but then I was like well I know that I don't want to stay in Cincinnati and I don't know how I'm supposed to like move to a new city if I don't know if I like it there if I don't know you know like if the vibe kind of like feels right so I'm I definitely want a real job um, and I'm excited to kind of like start post-grad life, but I'm also just like, hey, Emma, you know, give yourself some time. Like, you're not supposed to have it all figured out. So I think that'll be fun. I've also thought about moving to Hawaii for like a year because one of my friends, she, or I'm trying to convince her to go to college in Hawaii so that I can come with her and just like, I don't know, get like a 
you know, a bottom level job, like working at an acai bowl place or something and just living there for a bit. So I don't know. There's lots of options, but it's just fun to research and think about it. But this is also one of my downfalls is that I was telling my friend this. I was like, I'm literally in Thailand right now. Like, Emma, why don't you focus on Thailand? You're here for six months. You're teaching, like, focus on this because I always want, like, that next thing. So it is, I mean, it's just fun to think about and plan. But anyways, I also need to be content in the moment. But I am going to make some more coffee, I think. Um, this morning, the coffee came so cold because they must have dropped it off and I just, like, didn't hear them knock because I was... <laughs> um so i heated it up in this thing which i don't know if that's bad if it ruins this um that's the first time i've done it and i felt bad about doing it so yeah we'll see but i'm gonna make some more coffee just because it has been tasting so good lately like so good and i'm like this is weird but it's just been good so okay i'm gonna i only have cold stuff left so I'll show you guys. I don't think I've shown you guys how to make my coffee. So, this is what we do. Okay. First things first is I take some coffee. Usually I try and use warm water that's been left out overnight, but I don't have any. And I'm going to pour a little bit in there. Not too much. And then I will just heat that up. The cord is so short, so it like barely fits. Um, so then I heat that up, and then I get my cup ready. I start by adding um, some instant coffee mix, which is kind of gross. It's just weird that like powder can make coffee. <laughs> I don't know. So I don't add the whole thing. I add like two thirds, and then I add a little bit of milk. Then I add just a little sprinkle of sugar. I never add sugar back home, but I feel like I just kind of need it with um, the way that the coffee is made and just like the strength of it all. I'm just going to go ahead and add that. Wow, I measured that perfectly. It's probably going to be super hot. Okay. Not bad, definitely tastes very coffee-like. I think I'm gonna add like a smidge of sugar. So stoked, it's 12 o'clock. I've been waiting for lunch and they just knocked. It's finally here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> for some reason today, <laughs> they gave me a salad for breakfast and lunch and I didn't order one, but I'm like, cool, like thank you guys. But also, like, I have four salads now. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to eat all of these. I oh, my gosh. This fries look so good. And this is fish, and I don't really eat fish. But maybe I'll try a piece. Um, we'll see. I'm going to bring this over. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, okay, that's actually, like, way good. <laughs> what the heck? All right, we're all ready to go. Last night when I went to go on my walk, I walked out of my room to the elevator without my mask on. And then obviously I came back to get it, but I totally forgot. I don't know how. I also forgot my wristband. Anyways, just got on an outfit that does not align with the culture. I always feel bad doing that, but I'm also just like, I really want to get some sun today. So I've also got my towel so I can lay that on the chair because the chairs are dark, like black, so I feel like it like makes it that much hotter. But yeah, we're gonna go get some sun and read and listen to music and just relax for a little bit. don't think I'm gonna go walk today my hip flexors are a little bit sore so I'm just gonna kind of give them a little break and I'm gonna do some strength exercises because I'm really just trying to get strong and to build muscle and so I feel like walking is great cardio that helps me like lose a little weight so that you can see the muscle but I still want to continue to um, work out my muscles I think that my dinner just got here let's see 
Yay! I'm also really hoping that we get a pretty sunset tonight. I kind of want to go to the rooftop, so I might do that. We'll see. It's just so cloudy, so I don't know. Um, like yesterday, it was overcast, and you couldn't really, like there wasn't really a sunset, so we'll see because I want to get a really good sweat in and I feel like I usually work out for about 45 minutes. So I decided on three videos I have this 10 minute booty band cardio burn workout which I've done before. It's one of my favorites because I don't really like work my lower body that much. Um, so just to do a little booty leg stuff and then get a little bit of cardio. She just posted this new upper body workout so yay for that. I'm gonna do that one. And then I'm going to do a 10 minute lower abs. So the whole thing will be about 30 minutes um, with no stops and I do kind of like take a couple breaks, so. <laughs> I finished my workout and I there was like no color in the sky so I didn't bother going up to the rooftop I am just going to get a shower I feel like I look so nuts right now my hair is insane my face is like really dry by my mouth and nose for some reason I don't know why but yeah I had a really good workout though I feel like I really pushed myself and I don't know, I just feel myself getting so much stronger and I just, I love it. It feels so good. So I'm gonna shower and then I am so excited to eat dinner. I'm so hungry. All right, here is dinner. We've got some pasta, garlic bread, I'm gonna drink some milk and watch just a couple of YouTube videos. Yeah, but I don't know, man, that's, oh. that's rough. Yeah. I do not remember the last clip that I filmed. Um, it's actually 8.45. I feel like today is just go by like faster and faster and faster every single day. But I've actually gotten like so much accomplished today. So I feel really, really good about that. Um, I am working through lesson plans for the third class. So hopefully I'll get them finished tomorrow. And then I don't, I'm just on a roll, you guys. And I actually like, this probably sounds lame, but I actually miss um like being in school having homework things to do things to organize things to put together like i thrive on this kind of thing i love it so much so i'm just like so excited to be back in a classroom again hopefully it's fun and the kids are well behaved and ready to practice their english but yeah my mom called me on her way to work so i talked with her for about 20 minutes um, dinner was pretty good. I feel like my milk was maybe a little spoiled because my stomach's a little queasy. So then I cleaned out the fridge and I got rid of all of the old milk, all of the juice, all of the fruit I wasn't going to eat because it just fills up so quickly because they give us like so much stuff. Um, and I'm really hesitant. I'm really picky about my milk. I don't, in the States, I like never drink real milk. I always drink like almond or oat milk. So it's weird having real milk too. So that could possibly be it i don't really know anyways my friend is most likely gonna facetime me in about five minutes would be my guess um sometimes she's running late on her way to work <laughs> but it's probably gonna be about five minutes so i'm gonna chat with her and go to bed i am so tired so ready to just sleep i just love sleeping and i sleep really well here or have been the past couple nights which is always so yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Um, I feel like there's tons of content. This is probably another super long vlog because I just cannot stop babbling and talking. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Another little fun little insight into my quarantine activities. Super exciting. But that's gonna be it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. I am posting a lot on there. It's been so fun to interact with you guys over these past 10 days. You guys have been so kind and sweet to me. Um, just so encouraging and thoughtful. And I just seriously love you guys. You guys are like just awesome. So. Thank you for that. Um, but yeah, 
follow me on Instagram, subscribe so you guys are notified when I post new videos. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.